Hello, everybody. Hopefully you can all hear me. It does at least look like my mic is working this time, so that's, that's a plus. Um, let me turn this back down. Okay, um, I am going to say, then I I'm going to apologize for the scratchy throat I probably have. Um, my voice has been going sort of in and out, so, oh well. Anyway, I am Kim. Welcome to Many Choices Monday, as I am now calling it. Um, my plan is to rotate between Mass Effect and these sort of choice-based games. Um, I'm going to do Finish Up Life is Strange, and then uh, I will be doing the two seasons of The Walking Dead. So, we got that to look forward to. Um, pardon my typing for just a second. Let me pull up the photos so I can try to do them all. Life is Strange, Episode 2, Optional Photos Guide. Alright. Alright. Um, first things first. I'm going to put a big warning right here on the front of this. Um, this game is... Um, deals with a lot of... Sensitive issues. Um, drugs. Sexual violence. Uh, suicide um, that kind of thing so viewer discretion is advised just throwing that out there um, it is a really good game um, story wise but just know that those things are gonna happen um, I know I'm talking to myself right now but that's okay um, actually let me let me fix this real quick. This is a little too big, I think. Alright. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright. On we go with episode two. Um, as, as we go forward, just let me know if the audio needs to be adjusted in any way. I will do my best. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. No! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Alrighty, here we go. Let me pop out the chat, actually.
Max has a very messy dorm room. Episode 2, out of time. Alrighty. Your silly little PJ shirt. This weird little chicken's on it. Alright, we're getting them. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. Alright. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, a little zombie face. Yeah. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Uh, where's the text messages there? This Chloe. What? Okay. Eh, sure, whatever. Even with all this crazy shit. Uh, timetable. So cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Um, anything fun here? No smile. Take your power seriously. <laughs> Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. I can't read that. Oh, there we go. Time machine, primer, time after time, pulp fiction. Somewhere in time. Oh, time clock. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Really? You're such a meme. This camera, though. Oh, shower spots. Okay, Max. Take the showers now. All right. Hello, Victoria. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it. Consider it done. Can I? <coughs> Can I write something mean on her board? Apparently not. All right. Uh. Kate's room? Oh! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Yeah, no problem, Alyssa. Glad I could be of service. How would that have consequences? Um... Uh, bathroom. And this is a shower over here. Yeah. Born. Uh, be aware of your location. I still can't read that. Always let a friend know where you are, where you're going. Always report any incident. Free campus alert app. Oh. I'm not the only lonely nerd around. Boys. Thanks for the work. Vortex Club. Okay. Oh, Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I'm no problem, buddy. <coughs> Wasn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. I just realized I forgot to start the recording. So, I just need to take some sorry, YouTube, but you didn't miss much.
All right. Do to do. Uh oh. Cool. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. <laughs> we ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. You suck butt, man. Oh, excuse me. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. You're a weirdo. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> it's a super short link. Why she get dressed in the shower stall? I mean, okay, I guess. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Oh, okay. Damn, Victoria is so fucking. We're gonna erase that. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello, water. Sorry. I forgot. Okay. Um, poster. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Hold to another universe. That's cute. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, such lovely graffiti. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. No, I wanted to erase it. I didn't mean to do that. I just hit the wrong button. Oh, okay, it's still erased. All right, cool. <laughs> I panicked there for a minute. Alrighty. Uh, where's my room? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Rude much. Oh, you said you wanted to get dressed, so let's do that first. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt. Okay. Hey, Einstein had the same And he couldn't even remind me. Alright, Kate's book, huh? Um, do do. Desk. Search. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Alrighty. Thank you. Um, papers. Of course, 
course she just spilled soda on Kate. Whoopsie. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Move. Be gone, foul street. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. All right. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. I want to fix this. <laughs> okay. Uh, private number. Threatening. That's fun. Shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats. It never ends. Okay. Uh, Kate's room. Anything. But it could be anything. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. All right. First things first. Take a photo of the bunny. ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Um, That's a lot. Of okay. Years. She's going to go through. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in the darkness and the darkest darkness comprehended it not. John 1 5. Pretty good quote. Alrighty. Let's see. We got anything fun over here? Ooh, a drawing. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Aww. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. That's cute. Um, tablet. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. Well, then I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells. Party video. Please call us after your classes. Hope you haven't brought shame on you or your family. Sweet. Good job, Mom. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Alrighty. Close. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Hmm. Okay. You can't have an email address with the exclamation point in it. No matter how hard you try. Bible. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Hmm. Okay. Photo. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Yeah, I would say so. I would tend to agree with you there. I wouldn't... It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Alright. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Alright, Kate. Here's your book. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Alright. 
Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. Do you know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank one. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I, I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video to the <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that. Spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, you'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. I don't think I anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? <sighs> yes. Definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you on everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Mm. Even though that uh, I don't know about this. Serious bad karma. He'll get it. Poor Kate. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Yeah, but, okay, let's see what the other one says. I didn't mean to die. Ah. I was hoping he would. 
Kate. Well, why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how. I know that. <laughs> okay, Kate. Thank you. I definitely went back too far. I didn't. I swear to God. Not enough. I don't get. I take a sip. Of Did somebody? I remember. Go on. Then Nathan. Did you go? <sighs> Definitely not. Sorry for the repeats here. All I I'm just trying to get back to where I've made the choice because I went too far. Okay. Let's we'll see what the look for proof answer says. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was dug. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No. Yeah, yeah, this is worse. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Yeah, no. Good job, Doctor. That ain't gonna happen. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Okay. Okay, so I'm go to the police. Yes, you should. Okay. <laughs> Chloe doesn't like the emojis apparently. Alright, where's the out? There it is. Uh, there we go. Oh, Brooke, do you want to talk to me maybe? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Alright, peace out. hard is it to dump the trash into a okay. bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Uh, what? What am I trying to do here? Oh, are you gonna let me take it? Oh, okay. Release the kraken! Come on, squirrels! Time for your 15 minutes of fame. There we go. Yes. 
Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. All right. Thank you, squirrel. All right. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Bird. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Oh, uh, I don't know that one. Talk to Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whispering. What animals do you Samuel is a nut job. Don't laugh. I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Okay, bye. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning rituals. See you later. Bye, Samuel. Of course you will. Bye, Samuel. Bye, Samuel. I think I'm supposed to go to the two whales. Yo, Taylor, what's up? Hey, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be. Nice Ooh. To I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean. <laughs> That's an understatement. She's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Because she's mean and bossy. I guess I've been mm. Okay. Too. Better than having mean bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sad. I can tell that I'm not We've had our a time. teenager anymore because it's, what just happened here makes no sense to me. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Private number. Uh, oh, got wrong button. Okay. How did his, how did Nathan's father get, get her phone number? That doesn't make any sense at all. all right, anyway. Yo, Warren. What up, homie? What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. <laughs> You're a real everyday hero. He's the hero we Holy didn't ask for, but the hero that we need. Even though you left me with Apparently. Holy and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Oh, because uh, he's a bad, bad man. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia... That driving is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go wait. Let's go wait. 
Yes, that's exactly what I mean. I love those old school aliens. I feel like because Warren defended our honor that we sort of we have to be super nice to him. Peace out, homie. Alright. Go take the bus. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. That dude is just slowly jogging. Hello, Mr. Bus Driver Man. How we doing? We're just gonna chill, four seats back from you. I find it odd that the school just has a bus into downtown. Exactly the same. Hi, you look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I mean, you're standing there. I clearly just got off the bus. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is. Oh, okay. Too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Yeah. Thanks. I, I feel you, homie. Old guy. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. You might think about getting your hair cut there, homie. Okay. All right, uh, I should reach the town. You'll have to place called two wells, like a large sign by the entrance. Okay. There's a bunch of birds up there. Oh, all right. Clearly, that's as far as I can go. Uh -uh. Look. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. And we were happy. Well, look at the gecko birds out there. Where is what? Bacon and eggs only five ninety five. Look at 
all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Okay. Mm, fisherman, what you got to say? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when Stereotypical I Stereotypical fisherman speak there. <laughs> you did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. They own the school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. I'll never forget that old fishermen never die. You just <laughs> I'd love to okay. go, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Happy fishing. Can you find where I'm supposed to take this picture. Oh, 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 I see it. There we go. I was on the wrong side. Hey, Sarah. Um, so far, not really a whole lot has happened. Um, we told Kate the really the big thing was that we told Kate to go to the police because she went to a Vortex Club party and they have a video of her making out with everybody because she was drugged. So we uh, decided to tell um, Kate to go ahead and go to the police instead of waiting to try to get some more proof. Other than that, that's about all that's happened so far. Oh, that brings back yeah. <laughs> it's not the not the best of things. Weird lady. Hello, weird lady. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <laughs> oh man. I wish you could have seen my face. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when leaflets, I leaflets, leaflets, leaflets. Fire alarm. Make sure it's in the bathroom. Oh, poor Kate. <laughs> okay. I, I guess technically, um, technically they're Canadian. Um, I guess, um, is this supposed to be, I can't remember where Arcadia Bay is. Is it supposed to be outside of, like, Portland or Vancouver or something? But that lady sounded like she was from Minnesota. I just sort of accidentally did that picture. Oh, uh, let me go back in here. Hold on. I'll be back. I'll be back, diner. <laughs> Alright, I'm supposed to circle around down an alley. Is this the right alley? Almost. Uh, <laughs> circle around the right side of the diner, enter the alley, continue beyond the old car. And the homeless lady. Chain link fence, motorhome, and a mangy dog. Okay, focus on the dog. I happen to know that that is Frank's dog. Oh, sweet. I, um, I forgot to sign up, and, um, so I'm not in it this year. Um, RT Secret Santa, that is. Do you want to talk to the homeless person? Hello. Oh, 
look at you. A fine example of you. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. <coughs> you know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in North Carolina? About two years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun. Love Pardon my chair squeaking. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Okay, thank you. I have to go now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Later, homie. Okay. Alright, so I can go back in here. Uh, inside the donor for what I did that one, okay. Alright, next one's at the junkyard. Okay, sweet. Do to do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk to all these people. It take four hundred years. Where's? Uh, there we go. Sit. <laughs> you do have a pretty squeaky chair. That's okay. One day I'll get a chair that doesn't suck and is not squeaky. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. We already met him. No matter what, Chloe. We saved a... Yeah. Sure. Kate from him. Even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about Are you having McDonald's for dinner? I'm glad. I don't blame you. I actually like their double cheeseburgers. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. They're super greasy, but um but man, they're good. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think there's there's something in there. I don't know if it's actually the ketchup, but something in there makes them just super delicious. telling you how to join, right? You took that responsibility. I did, and I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. I wasn't actually paying attention to what she was just asking me there. Over a doobie, Max. I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in the war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? <laughs> I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. 
So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh, I get to pick. Hmm. All right, Sarah, I'll let you make the choice for me. We're going to go bacon omelet or Belgian waffle. Now to wait for 45 minutes while it catches up. Oh, nope, that was fast. Belgian waffle it is. <laughs> the last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. How does she go five years without having a waffle? <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Yep. Mm, graffiti. I love the delicious nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Nerd graffiti, huh? Mm, window. What is this? The only thing that's changed on the menu are oh. the prices. Two wheels. Let's see how much this Belgian waffle costs. Belgian waffle and fried fish. Good lord. Hmm. Oh, good old Moobot doing his job now. Um. Why would you want a waffle with fried fish? Beer and bacon. Oh gosh. Yeah, Nerd Graffiti is a pretty good name for a band. I can see that. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. All right. Drink the coffee, homie. Fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No, Larry the Big Mouse bath on the wall there. Incoming. Where's Chloe? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Okay. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, uh... mm, speak of the devil. There she is. Senorita Blue here. Looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. I'll call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon. Oh, sassy. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Couple quarters and some lint would be my guess. Okay, Max. Impress me. Mm. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Mm, well, she's got bullets around her neck, so let's go with bullets. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so. Well, poop. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in the Okay. Place. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Can I look at it again? Okay. Okay, Max. Study. So we got up. And don't forget anything. 
panda, I guess. Some cigarettes. 75, 80, 86 cents. And a ticket. Okay. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. I am holding RT. Alright. Keys. Your car keys. No, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It is a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call bill. What else? You have some money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Eighty six cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. I oh, shoot, I didn't count. Seven? Seven cigarettes. Oh, sweet. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact no, freak on a stick? Mm, Ten thirty four. Ten thirty four AM. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I did it all in one go. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have power. Thank you. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Here comes her one piece of bacon. How's the food, Max? Better than I remember. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show she's me hungry me. like the wolf. One bite and she's done. <laughs> I will predict the future. No way. All right. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. All right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? Right. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I got to take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? Bye, dude. Don't slap me, bitch. Fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Well, this is sure the hell better than that other. Okay. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. All right. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, trucker. Trucker drops a mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Then. Uh, alert on the cops for radio as partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Um, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. All right. Uh, jukebox cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. 
Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, no refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You called it. He's off to go bust some scares. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance <laughs> to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can thank anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like of course she would think that. Of. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Didn't even finish her waffle. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she Alright. Well, apparently I can't go out that door. Let me out. Oh, do I have to talk to Chloe? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna talk to Chloe. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. There's places to go and scooby do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Black. Well, I think the reason they didn't pay is because that was Chloe's mom. So <laughs> she probably can get one one free meal a day. We're gonna answer because Kate's having a bad day, so Hey Kate. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. Calm down. Jeez. For now, let's rock. No. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not. But I'm not going to do that. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Oh, who was that? I don't know. Chloe, Chloe's uh, Chloe's something else sometimes. <laughs> it's like, dang, you can't have more than one friend. <laughs> We're going to the junkyard! Oh, pardon me. Goodness gracious. Sorry. Chloe's version of fun is really uh, what you want it to be. Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power. I think it's raining outside. Nope, I'm I'm hallucinating. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Oh, five bottles. Ow! I'm sorry. You can handle me. Uh, and just the thing bottles. here. Pretty, Alrighty. We'll go find your dumb bottles. Calm down. Alright. Uh, six. Directly opposite Chloe. School bus. Three quarters of the way down. Oh. Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe. Nope. All right. Apparently not on that. 
that side. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, the only thing I'm doing is looking for the optional photos. Um, that's the only thing I've got pulled up. And I know it's supposed to be this bus. Uh, she says carefully position yourself three quarters of the way. Maybe over here? Nope. Oh. Oh. Nope. Come on. I want to take the photo. Why is this so difficult? Can I go around the other side? Hmm. Let me go around. No, oh, there's a bottle. Uh. It's just you get, um, you get an achievement for each um, wow, sir. Uh, each photo you get, and there's twelve. There's a uh, ten in each episode. Right. That doe is the perfect photo op. Yeah, but I want. I appreciate that. I'll get the doe in a minute. That's the next one. This uh, bus are gonna fight. Come on, school bus. No, come on, don't do this to me. Like you have to be in a very specific place to get it to work. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> Take the bottle. Stupid bottle. Stupid bottle. All right. Uh, loop. Uh, so we need to. Uh, I do something here. Oh, crate. There it is. Move the crate. Right, now I should be able to get it. Yay! Hello, bottle number. I got one. One more to go. So, oh. hmm. What is this? Beyond oh, it's an old fear. camera. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah, it's it's got some. It's got a little more substance to it than like um, some of the tales from. Uh, not the Telltale games do, because for Telltale games you just move left or right, you know, or push A or B and all that. And um, this has a little more because you actually have to do some other stuff, and then you know the backwards and the forward part. Boom. Only three left. All right, where's that deer? Where's the doe? Where the doe out there is? What do you want, Warren? 
All right. Okay, I just gotta take a picture of the dough. I have my theory about this deer, and we'll talk about it later because it's a big spoiler. But, um, but I do have a theory. Do we want to sit on the stump? Let's sit on the stump. Um, the see-through part is the, the reason I have a theory. And I, I can't remember if it's explained later on. So, um, we'll see where we end up at the end of this episode. And then I, uh, might be able to tell you my theory. Alright. Um, dear... Uh, car hood. Okay. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Is there anything over here? Nope. I don't remember where the bottles are. Clearly they are not over here though. Piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. Alright. Uh, I know there's one that's like weirdly hidden. In a place that doesn't make any sense. Um, don't, however, remember where that spot is. Oh, car. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up bottles. <laughs> Sarah, I only barely speak Spanish. I can actually write it better than I can spell it. I mean, I spell it. <laughs> I can write it better than I can say it. That's what I meant. I mean, that's not what I said, but that's what I meant. Nope, I don't okay, I get it. Wrong way. Alright. Oh, is this the weird spot? Yeah, this is the weird spot, I think. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. <laughs> I'm sure you're not a disgrace to your family at all, Sarah. Language is one of those things where if you don't use it frequently, um, you lose it. Whoop. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh. Alright, sweet. Boop -a -doop. I didn't get crushed. Why are you going so slowly? Alright. Let me out. Okay. Thank you. I still have the bottle, right? Yeah, okay, I still have the bottle. Um, Alright. Sweet graffiti there. Do, do, do. I need two more. Um, there's got to like gotta be something in here. Right. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. <laughs> I think you're right. Sarah. <laughs> so Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. Vortex party. The flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Oh, there's a the bottle. Woohoo! La la land this way. Do uh, do do. Okay, oh, Kate. Kate. 
Sweet. Did the right thing. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Alrighty. I do to do. That kinda hurts. Nah, you'll be alright, Max. Um there were photos over here. I missed that. Oh, a mixtape. Somebody brought their tunes. Really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Yeah, but you abandoned your friend. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Probably not. Uh, sweet dartboard. All right, so where is this last bottle? Um... You want me to look at? Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Oh, right. Okay. I got you. Uh oh. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. All right. Um. Oh, bottles up there. I bet I could get on a boat from a higher location. Oakley, Oakley, subbird. All righty. Gun shells. Those shells look fresh. Oh, shotgun shells, even. Right, um, I'll miss you, Sarah. Where'd For you the brief you? moment you're gone, I will miss you. This camera is driving me bonkers, though. Do you do anything fun up here? Nope. Twitch trash. Well, football. Bigfoots were here. Okay. Where'd that board go? Oh, there it is. Plank. Way heavier than I thought. Alright. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She just bean bumped. It actually feels like Chloe and her kids have been hiding out and plotting their future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. Alright. Enough reflecting. We're stuck on stuff, okay. Uh, where's Chloe at? Oh, there she is. Bottles. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting. We're gonna get our pew pew on. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. All right. Uh. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, I was well. Hi, Michael. Show me the way. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Boom. Oh, yes. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. And actually see where it landed. Where uh, maybe. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Oh, good. <laughs> Watch out, Nathan. Now that is yeah, she's having some I'm some issues. I want to get creative. Give me something to shoot, Max. Uh. Yeah, 
to shoot that thing. Um, I haven't seen Dana yet in this episode, Michael. You can see that this is a bad idea, right? Everything she's doing here. Hella get. Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? Like never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Mm, all right. So Dude, I need a target before I shoot. One shoot. I shoot the windshield. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. <laughs> Probably. She didn't like that apparently. Dude, I need a target. All right. Um here, shoot that. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cool bumper. Yep. Yep. I shot myself. Yep, you did. Oh, nope. All right, go back for him. All right, so you want to shoot? Dude, I need a target. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank, go boom. Yeah, except for that doesn't actually work. Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. Oh my god, what do you want, woman? Shoot the tire. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I Chloe's not the smartest. I'm a superhero. Oh dear God! Please, let's not do that. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Yeah. That's what happens when you mess with time. Wow, that got loud. That is super loud in my ear. <laughs> Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. Okay. God, I feel normal again. Chloe. I'd rather go chat up Chloe. Alright, uh... Walk over to the grass to her left. That's her. Oh, nope, there it was. There we go. Now. Alright. Bloop. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, I'm not looking forward to doing the next photo. It, it has a long list of things you have to do. Proud, hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie? Yo, it's Frank. Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute, you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. 
We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me Nothing. See. Nothing at all. Where did you get that bracelet? Friend, it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. Mubot needs to stop its crap. It's supposed to do it every 15 minutes. Oh, you did it this time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. All right, are we going to shoot Frank? We're going to not shoot Frank. I say we don't shoot Frank. But uh Let's take a poll out of the two of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Michael, you're no help. Also, you're you're outnumbered, so. <laughs> Sorry. Shoot me. Ah, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this Don't worry, Sarah. I wouldn't listen to Michael. He just wants to cause trouble. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. I got a duck guardian angel, and then Michael is the the, the, the devil on my shoulder. I sleep. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Oh, you think me not shooting him is gonna come back to haunt me? I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Yeah. The the, the choices um. The choices that you get here. And this game are like big polarizing choices. So either, um, either you do something that's going to have super negative connotations, or um, you're going to do something that may potentially not be quite as bad. Where am I going? I need to go back to town. I think. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need okay. time out from here. I could have gone back and shot him, but not when I'm not going to before. Because I, I just. I don't think you want to do that. I can't keep getting mad. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Pew pew. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could yes, let's lay on the train tracks because that's a good idea. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he was. All he cares about is his cash, <laughs> cash and Yeah. Chloe, are you it's like like in old timey movies where they used to tie damsels to the He's to the train tracks. Really Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. So laying on him is, is an excellent idea. Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. 
I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think that you should be careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... Has... Did that sound like a bear? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Rachel's the one that's missing. We would all be hella best friends forever. She's Chloe's friend. Um, she disappeared from the school. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Hard hat area. We about set on a timer, but I don't. I think he's doing the right time on it. Yeah, that was only six minutes. I'm gonna have to go in. Nope, nope. Mm, three. Yeah. Uba's not running on the right timer yet. I have to try to fix it again. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Sweet. Uh, I gotta save her stupid butt. Um, she's, she's, she's gonna get straight up run over here in a minute. Uh, okay, that's stuck. Good to know. Uh, open. Uh, wire cutters. Wire cutters. Where do you go up? Oh, there we go. Do do do. All right. Um. Shit! I can't budget at all. Okay. All right. All right. Calm down. Calm down. She's about to be super dead, by the way. Uh. Yep. Yep, yep. Please, crowbar, crowbar. I'm still hitting the wrong button. Uh, I know it seems like I'm not going fast enough. Hey, I opened the right door. Right. 
Good work. Oh, pull the thing! Pull the thing! Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Alright. What? Oh, oh, crowbar. Oh, come on now! I cut the, th the wire! The f it's this finicky, this thing. Alright. Uh. Wire, red wire. Well, there we go. I saved her. Stop being such a freaking doofus head. We're not always going to be able to save you from trains. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswife, some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some... She dropped out of school, but she knows a lot about quantum physics, apparently. They teach you kids anything at Blackwell. We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like you said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such well, a that Moobot was at least of my life. Because we're back seven back. minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Good old Moobot. Alright, we're going to art, apparently. We also have to go visit Warren. All I know about Chaos Theory is what I learned from uh, Jurassic Park. Also that life finds a way. <laughs> no, look, it's the principal. What you got to say? Oh, hello. I hope this isn't about the alleged God incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. <coughs> yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. It's because he's got you in his pocket. Focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen. But they did those horrible things. Well, go to your meeting then. Don't just stand in the hallway like a doofus. All right. Um. We want to go find Warren. Um. What's the bathroom? 
And then Courtney, no. Vortex Party. Trevor. Oh. What's up, David? I know things got a little yeah, that, and he's the principal, too. So the principal is just utter crap. What did he say? Sure. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Matson? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. Uh, not much, sir. Just the, the principal basically telling Max to go away. her age I was out raised a lot more hell she's better than that all you kids are so is Kate Marsh why you gotta pick on Kate but you treat Kate pretty bad you step between us at a pretty bad time she's another matter entirely Kate hasn't done anything wrong Max this isn't just about Kate Marsh my concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students including you That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I just realized that Max has a deer on her shirt. All right. What you got to say, Warren? Sit down, science. Something. I can't read that. So I will, um, I still have time. All right. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist. In Let the me go see you, Warren. Where is Warren? He's in the Seafy classy. Is this it? Yeah. Looks like a science class. Here we go. Alright. Alright, Warren. Let's do this optional photo that's going to take forever. Why do you hate Kate so much, Michael? She's clearly the one that's being treated badly. Alright. Alright, so... Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go Rewind. potassium. Lots potassium. of potassium. Be. This works. You get a free hug. Weird science. Weird science. Good brain. Dang. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help means I have to add either a bit of lots of potassium. I actually think you should eat a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. <coughs> oh. Okay. Now we're supposed to go talk to Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher. <coughs> there are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. How's your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. All right, bye. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but 
I have to go help. Uh, I have to go help Big Brain over here. Let's try it. Oops. Eureka. Why did it turn pink? That's my question. There we go. Dr. Caulfield. He's still got that black eye. <laughs> All right. That was fun helping Warren. Yay. Cute when he's in full on geek mode. All right, bye. Across the hall, Alyssa. Where's Alyssa? You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my. Excuse me, Max. Oh crap! Over here. Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Morris. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <laughs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but... I'm just trying to make Max honest. That's she all. Like she's she wants to help people. Because I wanted to help people. I missed that. Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a popular as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes. Um, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I need to find Alyssa. Don't go into the classroom. Okay. Uh. That's Brooke. Oh, there's Warren again. Okay. Julian and Logan. I don't know why that door was just swinging. Where's Alyssa? She must be in the classroom. She must be in the classroom. Oh, yeah, there she is. Hi. 
Hi, Black Shadows. Bye. Yeah, I think we might be getting close to the end of the episode, actually, because that was the last one. Alright, that guy's busy. Who am I supposed to be talking to here? Alright, Daniel, what's up, buddy? What's up, Daniel? Waiting to drop Dana. Michael, this is your man here. He likes Dana. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, make you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may end in the night when they cast a wing in the loop. Oh no. Oops. Sorry, Daniel. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Okay, sorry, Daniel, I didn't mean to stop talking to you. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to drop Dana after. I hope you like it. Love. And it's my new. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. I'll put that over there later. Okay, all right. I guess that was it. Ah, uh, there's Dana. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Yes. I am absolutely pissed that you're sitting at my desk. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is. They don't care that I'm s sitting right here. Think she can hear us. Yeah, you think? I'm standing right in front of you. Snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie at this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. All right. Just for you. Just for you, Michael. Oh, okay. Whatever. Can I get around you, though? Nope. Apparently not. You got anything else to say? Your posture is crap, man. Alright. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. You just like her because her shirt's low cut. That's the only reason you like her. Alright, sit. Okay. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Alright. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Bye, Warren. Please sit down. See you later. Cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Welcome back, sir. Or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world. For people to judge. Usually, people need. Yes, it's too late, everyone. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some It's um it's a really good story actually. Um 
speaking of participation it's the like the acting voice acting and the um the lip sync is a little whack wonky but um but the story is really good and it plays pretty easily i'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a harry potter book so you must know today <laughs> sarah with the one republic reference Max looks like she's been crying. Images are affected precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in Monster. Yo, some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm. Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remains. Yeah, good luck with that. Dismissed. Yeah, sir, you might want to hit the hit the warning one more again. Uh, cause this is not gonna be fun. Oop, I didn't mean to rerun. So I can't run for some reason. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. Try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. <coughs> I'm coming, Kate. Eventually, the game will let me walk. I didn't mean to hit the rewind button. Okay, this this pigeon. How do I get? How do I get there? Oh, whoops. Unfortunately, this is as fast as I can go. Yeah, Max, this is going to give Max not fun. I want to go to the roof. This is why the re the rewind mechanic is just so cool. Yes. I have a chance to potentially save her here. I'm hoping I can. Okay. I don't have any power. I have to do this by myself. We get one shot, one opportunity to save her. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help. <coughs> I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Hey, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new mom is friends I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. I'm here for you, Kate. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. I'm not hitting on her. I'm trying to save her. I 
Hello, Phoenix. You haven't seen the looks I get or the laughs. I understand, truly. I get bullied too, but this is a blip. Yes, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Don't do it, Kate. Sisters. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. Oh, crap. Um... <sighs> she had one of these in her Bible, and I looked at it earlier, but I don't remember which one it was. Um... I want to save her really badly. I don't want to screw up. All right, proverbs. I'm I'm not at all uh, googling this. Okay, that one's about justice, so that's acceptable. Matthew eleven one twenty eight. Come to me, all, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. No, thank you. We're going to go with the justice one. How did that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evil. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! Crap! Oh, Kate. Shit. And that's the one big choice you can't undo. So she is just dead now. I am mad. No, you can't you can't rewind there because Max's powers conveniently go out. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty seriously. I take the well being of every student more seriously. I know there's a very specific set of choices you had to make regarding, like, all those conversation choices in order to save her. I didn't look them up, so I was just trying, but... <sighs> Ooh, good... Good plans there, Sarah. Thank you. Since Miss March did attend your last party, 
You'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I was trying to talk her down. All right. Let's see. I know this, really this principal is absolute crap. Like he should seriously be fired. Uh, we're gonna go with Jefferson. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dude. You asked. She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. I wouldn't call it throwing him under the bus. I mean, it's true. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand that. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl for me. And maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Max. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head Sweet signature. Okay. Like yeah. Notice how her power conveniently works again. All right. All right. Yeah, I just, I, I want to see what each of these <coughs> comes to. I'm pretty sure I'm going to pin it all on Nathan because, I mean, because he's, he's a horrible human being. Um, but. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically. Uh, sir, I don't know. Other than when it, when it cuts out the powers on, on its own, like it just did with Kate. There's no way to undo that. Like Kate's, she's she's dead, dead now. Um, I don't, I don't know if it just, if it ever gets to the point where where it just doesn't work anymore. Like I don't, I, I don't know. Other than for story related events. Oh, sweet. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm. Yeah, no, no. All right, go backwards. Go back. Come back. <coughs> if I remember correctly, there are a few events in this thing that you just can't. Like, you're stuck with your choice. But there's only a couple of them. Kate is one, and I can't remember um, exactly what another one is. But I think there's one in a later episode that you get one or the other. Um, all right, this is the choice I'm going to go with anyway. So, um, But for the most part, you're if you're rewinding and fixing something, it's to try to pick a better choice. I too would also like to throw Nathan under a bus. He is a butthead. I seriously dislike him. Careful, Mr. Prescott. 
I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources, including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and All right, yeah. Please. All right, we're gonna sign. That's the one we're going with. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll Just because you don't pay attention. <sighs> he needs to get his butt fired. Like now. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I'm not abusing any power. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Was my bo my dog barking? Come on, Max. Do not for a second dream yourself. Kate I can't hear anything with my headphones on, so. <laughs> not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You're the only one with that. Oh, no, I hear the dog. It's not my dog. <laughs> um, There's a dog loose behind us who's always outside. And, um, and he continuously just barks at night for no reason. I normally don't hear him. Must be extra loud today. It makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proved that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight That's up Warren, Michael, not Darren. Or Daniel. Daniel was the dude that did the drawing. What the hell this is Warren. Warren's like his best bud. They're like the buddy buddies. Alright, move on. We'll get your crap to done. Alright, random eclipse. Daniel's got the weird accent. Oh, man. I think this is the end of the episode, so. Put my controller down. That was Mr. Jefferson, um, Mr. Jefferson and the principal. It's Frank <laughs> and his dog, whose name I can't remember.
we're done. The town is sort of like falling apart. Okay, so should I should I tell you my theory about the dough? Sarah, you were the only one that was here for that. So, um, we'll get your opinion on that. <laughs> um, it, it does spoil a slight thing. Um, So, yeah, so maybe I shouldn't talk about it. But I don't think, um, you don't find it out until, like, the fourth episode. So, <laughs> yeah, so I guess that that's a pretty big spoiler, huh? I guess I won't talk about it then. Dang it. We'll have to discuss when it comes up. Alright, well, that was episode two. Let's see if it'll... Can I skip? Yeah. Alright. All right, I was in the minority for telling people to go to the police. Uh, yep, most people answered Kate's call. Oh. Hmm. See, okay, you see, it says, I didn't try to shoot Frank. You tried to shoot Frank. That, is, that assumes that you're not going to. Uh, um, don't. Don't go just yet, because there'll be a little clip for the next episode. I'm just going through these choices. Um, I couldn't save Kate's life. Like, half the people could save him. And almost everybody blamed Nathan. As they rightfully should. Oh, I forgot to water my plant. Uh, erase the link. I'm not friendly with Taylor. Warren wrote a message. Didn't tamper with the railroad tracks. Okay. Okay, whatever. All right. All right, well, I forgot it wasn't that big of a, uh, <laughs> a clip. Well, there you go. Um... This episode, when it goes up on YouTube, might be missing the first, mm, like, ten minutes. Uh, but nothing really important happened. Because I forgot to hit the record button. Uh, because I played music before the stream started. <laughs> so the, the, the VOD's going to be muted. Uh, but the, I don't think anything was missed. All I did was get Max out of bed and take a shower. But anyway... Um, that's beside the point. So, that's it for tonight. Thank you for coming. Um, Zoe will be back tomorrow at uh, 6 p.m. CST. Uh, she'll be streaming some Destiny. Probably um, SRL would be my guess. Uh, she'll be doing some races. And or doing Nightfalls. She might do Nightfalls, Nightfalls actually. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, 5 p.m. CST. You're right. 5 p.m. CST. It's 6 p.m. EST. My bad. Time zones. They get me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so she'll be back for that tomorrow. And then Sarah will be streaming something on... Uh, I think... Sarah, are you doing Read Only Memories again? Because um, that was a cute little game. Um, that'll be Wednesday. And then we'll we'll go on with the week. And we'll do fun, fun day Friday. And... Uh, whatever. All that fun stuff. So, anyway, join us tomorrow. Heart you all. Goodbye.